Today we'll look at how you can add clean outlines to your subjects in Affinity Photo. You can start with an image like this and turn it into this. So I'm here in Affinity Photo with this image of a car here. And I should start by saying that everything I do in this video can be done in Affinity Designer also. You can do it in the Pixel Persona. But I'll be using Affinity Photo for this video. Now the first thing we want to do is select our car and isolate it. So I'll use the selection brush over here. And I'll start selecting the car. If you select too much, you can hold Alt and click to unselect. Make sure you get these middle areas and things like that. Those are always the easy areas to miss when you're doing a selection. The tires are kind of tricky, but we can fix it later. So if my car is selected, I'll now mask it out. So I'll click the Mask Layer button here. And we can see we've selected our car. I'll unselect with Control D. Now I'll add a colored background just so it's easier to see. I'll select Layer, New Fill Layer. Let's make it some type of blue. Drag it behind the car. I'm going to resize the car just so it fits in there a little bit better. And now let's add the outline. With my car selected, I'm going to click the Layer Effects button. So I'll click this. And the option I want is Outline. So I'll select Outline and click the box. Now by default, nothing happens because the radius is zero. Let's increase the radius. And now we can see we're getting a border around our car. I actually want to make it white. Let me select that. And you can adjust the radius to what you like. This can actually be changed later so you don't have to lock into something right now. Let's choose right there and I'll click close. And now we have our initial result. Now it needs a little bit of cleanup. First, you'll notice that we have a line on the top and the sides. That's because when we mask the selection, we missed some pixels on the top and left edges. So the way we can control the way our border behaves is altering the mask. So with the mask selected, I'm gonna click a paintbrush here. I'll set it to black and I'll make sure the brush is something round. Now I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint on our mask over here so we get rid of those pixels. And something you'll notice is at different zoom levels, sometimes it shows and sometimes it doesn't. So if I zoom out, it seems like it disappears, but it's actually there. So when you're doing this outline effect, it's definitely good to check things at different zoom levels. So we've gotten rid of those outer borders there just by altering our mask. Now let's zoom into the back of the car. You can see the outline is bumping up a bit over there. That's usually because you have a stray pixel and it's making the outline around the stray pixel. So with my brush selected, I'll just paint black in this area on the mask and it disappears. Now you may think this line is a little bit rough here. If so, again, on your mask, you can just paint and smooth it out a little bit. I'll smooth it out a bit down there. So what's happening is I'm actually painting on the mask like this, but I can do it while looking at the image itself. So what you're seeing is that the outline effect dynamically adjusts to our new mask as I paint on it. If you want to put something back in, you can use white. So I'll click white and I'll paint back in here a little bit. Maybe I missed some back part of the car here. I'll select black clean it up. And the smoothness of the outline is really going to depend on your initial selection. If it was kind of rough, you'll see many more artifacts and debris along the edges. Now with the tires, I could try to do it by hand. I could select white. I could try to paint it in perfectly here. But that's actually really hard to do just by hand. I'm going to use the circle selection tool. So I'll select this here. I'll select elliptical marquee tool. Now I have from center selected. That means I'll draw my circle from the center. So I'll click here and I'll drag. And I can do any kind of ellipse. If I hold shift, it'll stay to a circle. So let's drag out a bit there. I think that's a good distance. I'll select my brush again and let's paint in our tire here. So I'll paint that in. Now I want to delete the part outside of the circle. So I'll invert my selection, select invert pixel selection. I'll go to black and now I'm painting outside here. So I'm erasing this outside area. And this is what the final result looks like for the wheel. And if you want to do a similar thing with this bottom edge, like if it was perfectly straight, you could use a rectangular marquee tool here and you could erase inside of it. And as you like, you could touch up the sides here. And you can keep cleaning up the edges as you see fit. And let's look at our final result. Before, after, before, after. If there's any topics you'd like to see covered in the video, let me know down in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.